Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? So if you're watching this for the first time, my name is Marianne. I'm the owner and the counsellor at Marianne Hanson Counselling Service, where I work with individuals and couples and I specialise in the areas of stress, low self-esteem, depression and relationships. And if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I've always said that every single couple is different. So when I do give tips or I give advice or guidance, if it doesn't apply to you and your relationship, then that's fine because not everyone is going to relate to the same things. So what I want to talk about in this video is free tips for saving a struggling relationship. So every relationship goes through its seasons. Um, there's no perfect relationship. There's no relationship that doesn't have its ups and downs. But I think that when you are at that point in your relationship where something is just nothing's working, everything that person says does your head in. Um, you've lost the love between you. You, there's just everything that can go wrong is going wrong. You're just not in sync. These are three tips that I think are useful. Now, some of these tips I've used myself. Some of them I've um, given to couples that I've worked with, and some are just things that I've observed in really healthy couples. So the first tip is to focus on what drew you together and what has kept you together. This is something I've used myself. This is something I've used with couples I've worked with. When you're struggling, all you can usually think of is the negatives. Okay, this isn't working. This person's doing my head in. This person isn't pulling their weight. But you forget to think about the things that you have in common, the th reasons that brought you together, the why, the reasons that you're still together. You forget to think about all the things that are working. Now, when you do this, it means that you're not ignoring what the issue is, but you're also not just focusing all of your attention on the negatives. So focusing on what brought you together, you know, do you still have the same things in common? Is the compatibility still there? Do you still have sexual attraction to each other? But is it just that this problem where, say, they're not doing the housework enough or where there's been an argument and that's led to disrespect? Is that enough for you to say that, do you know what, this means that I can't continue with this relationship or are you just focusing on the negative? The second thing is to identify what the main issue is and then put a plan in place to resolve it. Now, you can do this either as a couple. You can do this with an expert like a counsellor. You can do this by maybe speaking to friends. But what I find is similar to the first thing I've just said, lots of times what people will do is they'll just talk about a mountain of issues and they'll just talk about, oh, well, he doesn't feed the dog and he leaves me to do everything and he it takes too much um, duvet on the, on the side of the bed and he doesn't do this and he doesn't. And what you end up doing is you can have a list of issues that are affecting you, but are those issues enough to end the relationship or are those issues the thing that's putting the relationship in crisis? Pick out a main issue. This is what I ask everyone that comes to work with me as a couple. I send them a worksheet in advance and I ask them to name the one main issue that they believe is affecting their relationship. Sometimes they agree, sometimes they disagree. But the thing is, for me to work with someone effectively as a couple's counsellor, I need to know what the main issue is. We can still talk about the other issues that link with it. We can still talk about the minor things. But if the main issue is communication, then that's what we're going to focus on. And we're going to focus on that quite quickly so that the couple can start to see, OK, if we put these things in place, maybe that will work. And the final thing is decide. Decide whether you want to be together. Decide whether you want to be in this relationship. Too many people don't come to the decision because what they say to themselves is, oh, let's just wait and see what happens in a year's time. Let me see if um, this happens or let me see if this happens. But once you decide, it's you are making a commitment. You're saying, I want to be in the relationship and I'm going to do whatever it takes um, to put something together, an action plan so that we can be together. So once you've done those three things, then it can really help you towards saving and rescuing your relationship. So let me know what you guys think. Feel free to leave your comments, put things in the chat because other people might learn from them. Also like this video if you enjoy what you're seeing. And also you can consider subscribing. It's entirely up to you if you like the content. Thanks for watching and see you all again soon. Bye.